The new comedy, Ricky Stanicki, follows three childhood pals who pull a prank gone wrong and invent the imaginary Ricky Stanicki to get out of trouble. But after 20 years of using Ricky as an alibi, it's time to introduce him to family and friends. Take a look. What if we hire an actor to play Stanicki? We could give him the Bible, right? He studies it for a few days, and then he comes to the bris for a couple of hours, and he plays Ricky Stanicki. Okay, but where are we going to find an actor? Gary Polsner. He's in that Red Robin commercial. He is? Yeah. He's that dude that goes, seconds on steak fries? Oh, yeah. That's Gary? That's Gary. Good for him. Good for him. <laughs> Good for him. And star Jermaine Fowler is with us now. Welcome, Jermaine. How you doing? I'm doing good. This was, like, ridiculous fun. It was. It had to be for you to play this this character, too. But we So we have John Cena in yeah. this. He's in all kinds of costumes. Mm -hmm. There's a mishap at a bowling alley. Most definitely. Tell everybody what they're in store for with this film. Just fun. Just something fun. Uh, it is ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was so great making it on set. We had so much, like... Chemistry, everyone was vibing. So like, uh, it was uh, it was a wonderful process. Yeah, and you play Wes. Yeah. Tell us about Wes and kind of how he fits into this group of three. Cause I feel like he's not always on board with them. No. <laughs> not at all. No, it's funny because you ever have the friend that's like going through like just a bit of a transitional phase yeah. in their life. That's what Wes is going through right now. He doesn't know what he wants. Like he's just going through it. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of coming out. Uh, when this Ricky Stanicki character shows up in his life. Yeah, so you're like, eh, I don't mm -hmm. know if I should go along with this. But you, so you have also done a movie before that did not have a script. It was called The Drop. Yeah, yeah. So did you get to do any of the improv that you've been able to do in the past in this film? Well, actually, um, not as much. Really? Because you would think this would be a you great opportunity. So, yeah, you would think so. But Peter Fairley, he's such a visionary. He knew exactly what he wanted to do, where yeah. he wanted the scenes to go. When we have like a bunch of comedians, it's very easy for things to kind of go left and right. It's, it can get wild sometimes. I've yeah. seen those things, right? But he was very, he, he just, you know, honed us in and made sure every scene had a purpose. He was really good with that. Yeah. Do you like the script or the no script better? I don't know. I like them both. One's a challenge. The other one, you know, I, I kind of like being prepared. There's yeah, some yeah. I like doing nothing. Nothing. Yeah, you're like, let me just remember <laughs> just these words. Exactly, yes, yeah. exactly. I, I don't so, mind them both. Yeah. I thought this was crazy, that it's set in Rhode Island, and yet you filmed in Australia. <laughs> I feel like it's usually the other way around. It's like, <laughs> let's go cheaper and closer. But no, no, let's take this to Australia. Yeah. What does, like, a group hang with this cast look like in Australia? Wow, after we would film, we would go get Chinese food, or we would hang out at a Zach's Airbnb, uh, you know, play beer pong, or... <laughs> You know, sometimes he would he would rap. That was dope. Uh, yeah, yeah, I heard about this. Yeah. So, uh, so, but let me ask you this, because you started a rap group in seventh grade. How you know that? I do my research. So let me ask you, who would win in a rap battle? <laughs> would it be Zach or you? <laughs> well, one, uh, Zach, Zach, would, Zach would kill me. Zach would, Zach really? would crush me. Yeah, but he wouldn't beat my twin. Jerome would crush him. I think Jerome would. <laughs> Jerome would win, I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh my Zach God. is great, man. Zach yeah. is great. <laughs> but so you guys, we mentioned this at the top, but you guys create this character, Ricky Stanicki, because a prank went wrong type of thing. Mm -hmm. ha have you ever pulled pranks in real life? Are you a prankster? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I am. Yeah, just by nature. I grew up with uh, just a bunch of, like, siblings, so, like, we always mess with each other. But my friends are worse. Like, uh, <laughs> so you ever play Ding Dong Ditch as a kid? Uh, yes. Okay. I know what it is. Yeah. So my friend Joe, he, I guess he wanted to, like, raise the stakes, so he just looked up a bunch of sex offenders in our neighborhood. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not joking. And he oh, wanted to God. Ding Dong Ditch those dudes. I know. I'm so sorry. It's probably a bad it. idea. It was, it Do was. not try this at home. <laughs> I'm not promoting it, by the way. Wait. <laughs> That's what he did, yeah. Wait, so you're going to be in the new Don't Tell Mom the Baby Sisters. Mm -hmm. Me and my producer, Lisa, always say, I'm right on top of that, Rose. Yo. You did so, have people said that to you? Uh, yeah, I had the honor of actually delivering that line. Oh, that's amazing. Yes, yes, yes. And we even shot it at the old house, too. So that was, uh, that was, that oh was my great. God, I yeah. remember that from when I was a kid. That's dope, yeah. Yeah, so what, it, but the new one is rated R. Like, what mm -hmm. people expect from this one? Something fresh. Something fresh. Something fresh. Wade, I our director, wait. yes, he did something magnificent with it. And it's with uh, Nicole Richie and June Swift. She is cool. Yeah. Nicole is cool. Oh, she awesome. killed it. Nicole killed it. Simone killed that. it. Yeah, thank yeah. you. All right, well, you can catch, you can wait for that one, but you can catch Ricky Stanicki out now on Prime Video. Jermaine, thank you so much. Thank you. Happy birthday, Grandma. Happy birthday, Grandma. <laughs>